What's up everyone, my name is Justin Odisho and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create 3D text in Adobe After Effects. So I'm working on a new project and in order to begin I'm going to create a new composition. Since I'm uploading to YouTube I'm just using the 1920 by 1080p preset and in the 3D renderer section you want to make sure you have Cinema 4D set so that we can make extrusions and make the text 3D. So I'll press OK and on this new composition I can begin creating my layers. So first, let's actually start with a backdrop. I'll go to Layer, New, Solid, and I'll just pick a royal blue color to be our backdrop, and I'll show you how to add lighting on the backdrop as well. So now that I have the backdrop, I'll go to Layer, New, Text, and I'll type in 3D Text. You can use whatever font or size you want. Just make sure you check the character window to see all those options, like what font you want. If you don't see this, panel you can always see it in the window and toggle it on here. So now that I have my text written out I want to right click on the text and choose 3D layer. This is going to add the geometry and material options in the drop down menu and under the geometry options we have the extrusion depth where we can select and increase that amount to create some 3D backdrop to it. But in order to see kind of a separation between the front and the sides Let's add some lighting to that. So here I'm going to go to Layer, New, Light, and I'll choose a simple spotlight, pretty default settings. I'll just make sure it casts shadows. So I'll press OK, and you can see now we've placed a light on this text, and it's creating some interesting shadows. But it's a little bit too harsh right now, in my opinion. And the cool part is you can drop down these lights in the Transform option, and you're able to rotate and position them in many different ways. So for the position, I'll bring the Z position back a little bit. So that brings the camera back towards us, away from the text, and create a bit softer of a spotlight. And remember, you can actually animate any of these with keyframes and create perhaps some interesting reveals or light pans from left to right if you wanted to use keyframes. So now that I have lighting on the text, how can I get lighting on the backdrop if I want a little bit more of an elegant or vignette look? Well, you can right click on the solid, turn it into a 3D layer, and it'll be affected by the spotlight as well. But you see what kind of happened now is that we lost the text. And that's because since these are both 3D at the moment, they're kind of splicing each other on the same angle. So a simple solution to this is you can drop down the solid in the transform options and move the Z position of this forward a bit so that it ends up being a bit more in the background. And then if you want it to fill through the edges again, you can increase the scale to maybe 150 or whatever percent. So now we've got a really nice simple 3D text object and we can actually begin animating this in many different ways. So for example, if we wanted to add some quick rotation, we could drop down the 3D text layer under the transform options. I could add a stopwatch icon to that Y rotation and then move over, let's say 10 seconds I wanted it to spin around for. I could do three rotations. So it'll go three rotations in 10 seconds. And you just want to make sure that you've separated the two layers enough so that the solid object will not cut the text in half if you haven't pushed it back far enough. And if you actually want to animate the whole scene instead of just one layer, you can actually go to Layer, New Camera, and just like we placed a light on the composition earlier, this will create a camera on the composition which we can use to adjust and zoom in and around the whole angle of the scene. So just to show you what I mean, uh, you can rotate the entire scene at once, so everything, the back, all the 3D layers, and move around the position of the entire scene at once. So this gives you some more flexibility on creating different animations or different angles. For example, I could zoom in, so to speak, by bringing the camera closer to the action and then perhaps place a keyframe that slowly zooms it out over time. So it's almost like a fly through of the object. So it'll zoom out over time and we create an interesting another animation and cameras are a really cool way to pan and move around the scene as if you had a real camera on this virtual composition. 
So if you guys enjoyed this video on basics on how to create 3D text, a little bit about lights, cameras, and 3D layers, make sure you leave a like on it below. Let me know what you thought in the comments. Go follow me on social media at Justin Odisho everywhere, like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter if you want to reach out to me. And check out my other tutorials on After Effects in the playlist on my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.